Hi, I'm David Whalen. Thanks for watching. This is the third video in our colon health series. If you haven't seen the first two, you'll want to start with number one, and that can be accessed by clicking the link below this screen. Now, in this video, we're going to be talking about probiotics, what they are, what they do, and also take a look at what to look for when considering a probiotic supplement. Probiotics are beneficial bacteria that will flourish when given a nice, clean, healthy pH balance environment. The word probiotic actually means for life. And when your colon has a lot of them in there, it will experience life. Now, if it doesn't have them in ample numbers, colon problems can occur. Now, there's basically a war of microbes going on inside your colon between good bacteria and bad bacteria. Let's explore the difference between the two. Now, probiotics are the good guys. They help to digest and absorb nutrients. They manufacture vitamins, reduce inflammation. But most importantly, they prevent the growth and spread of the bad guys, which are anaerobic proteolytic bacteria, which ferment and putrefy your food, creating toxins that are known carcinogens, right? Well, this process causes a sort of self-poisoning or auto-intoxication. These carcinogens have literally been linked to colon cancer and colon cancer is now number three on the list of most common cancers. Do you recommend that a person take a probiotic supplement after going through a colon cleansing period? Yeah, I do recommend it because the cleaning of the colon has cleared it of waste products, microforms, but also of the parts of the beneficial intestinal flora. And but this flora is necessary to digest well and in this way to have a healthy colon. But also having a healthy intestinal flora checks the multiplication of microforms because the more beneficial bacteria flora you have, the less the microform have space and food to proliferate. So the game plan is pretty simple then. It's to provide and support the good guys in this army, your probiotics. Now, supplementing with probiotics can be a great thing if you do it the right way. Some research has shown that these good probiotic bacteria can actually morph into bad bacteria if the environment is bad. So it's imperative you start them off with a nice, clean, healthy pH balance environment. If you've never taken probiotics before, we strongly recommend that you start by cleaning your colon. Now when choosing a probiotic, there are a few important considerations to note. First of all, you want to get one with a wide variety of strains. There are lactobacillus strains and there are bifidobacterium strains. So pick up one with both. The wider variety of strains are better because some reside in your small intestine and others reside in your colon. Then you want to make sure you're actually getting live bacteria. This can be hard. There have been a lot of studies and audits performed on probiotic supplements and the results haven't been so good. Many of them either contain dead bacteria or contain less live bacteria than their label stated. Probiotics are very fragile. Um, heat can destroy them, light can destroy them. So make sure to do your homework. Now when you take them, you're going to want to take them on an empty stomach, either with water or, even better, with a green drink or prebiotic fiber. These drinks won't induce the production of much stomach acid, if any, which can harm or destroy most probiotics. Also then, take a lot of them in the beginning. You can't take too many. I recommend 10 to 15 tablets per day. Start immediately after cleansing and continue for a few days. Once they start to colonize, they'll take over from there as long as you keep giving them plenty of fiber and a nice, clean, pH balanced environment. Now, PHI in orange contains seven different lacto and bifido strains. We have a patented tableting technology to protect them with a little coating, protects them from heat, light, moisture, um, extends a shelf life. It'll even get them through stomach acid. Now, since probiotics are living organisms, they need to be well fed and they need a nice clean home. We'll be talking about how to feed and fertilize them in part four, the last video in this series, and it's titled Prebiotics. It's not just fiber, it's probiotic fertilizer. 
You can get to that video by clicking the link below the screen. Hey, thanks again for watching. I hope I, this has been helpful. Stay vibrant, stay healthy, stay well. Thank you.